I'm Judge Mulroy. I'm glad you clicked on this video. It'll make you better in traffic court. But please, don't be like this guy. In a minute, just a second, I gotta do this court, all right? Look. Uh, all right, I'll, I'll call you later, Sir, right? you in the undershirt. Take off your hat. Take your food and your drink outside of the courtroom and hang up your phone. And don't roll your eyes at me, sir. Don't be like him. Pay attention. When you hear your name called, go immediately to the judge and tell the judge what you want to do. I want to plead guilty, judge, or I want a trial. Barbara Burns. Good morning, Your Honor. My name is Barbara Burns, and I would like to plead not guilty and have a trial. I have a defense in this matter, and I have two witnesses, and they're present here in court. Thank you, Ms. Burns. I'll call your case for trial as soon as I finish with my other cases. Be sure to have your witnesses ready, and remember you'll be able to cross-examine the policeman. Thank you, Your Honor. If you decide to plead not guilty, you're entitled to a trial. That means you can cross-examine the police officer and produce your own evidence. The key thing here is to be prepared with your witnesses and your papers and be ready to question the witnesses. All right, before I begin Ms. Burns' trial, uh, Mr. Jeffrey Marks has asked for a trial. So Jeffrey Marks, would you please step forward? And is the police officer who issued Mr. Marks the ticket president in court? Yes, I am, Your Honor. Would you please step forward? And would all three of you please raise your right hand. You swear to tell the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth, so help you God. I do. I do. Now, officer, uh, I'd like you to uh, state your name and tell me what happened the night you issued the ticket to Mr. Marks. Yes, my name is Officer Jack Bain. I was parked in my vehicle at Oak and Sherry when I observed Mr. Marks drive past a yield sign and fail to yield to a pedestrian. It was 9 p.m. and dark. Mr. Marks presented me his license and told me he did not see the yield sign nor the pedestrian. Mr. Marks, would you like to cross-examine? Yes, Your Honor. Officer, was it dark and rainy that night? Mm, yes. Was the yield sign covered by a wet branch when you stopped me? Maybe. That's all the questions I have, Your Honor. Thank you, officer. And do you have any witnesses, Mr. Marks? Yes, my wife, Eleanor. You were with me on the night of the ticket? Yes. Could you see the yield sign? No, it was too dark. Could you see any pedestrians? There was no one in the walk. I have no other questions. Thank you very much. Uh, I'm going to take this under advisement and let you know my opinion shortly. This is very important. Before you go to traffic court, read your ticket. Understand what the penalty is that you're facing. Can you get supervision? Can you be put on probation? Could you get a small fine? Then ask the judge what it is you want and give him or her reason for why you're entitled to it. Chrissy Chico. Chrissy Chico, Your Honor. I've been charged with speeding. I was going 15 miles over in a 30 mile zone and I'd like to plead guilty. I never had a ticket before. I actually received this ticket because I was rushing to pick my child up from school. I ask that you please place me on supervision. Thank you, Ms. Chico, and thank you for coming to court so well prepared today. I was looking at your driver records and you're someone who's never had a ticket before. I'm certainly going to take that under consideration before I reach my judgment. You might have received a ticket for a violation, which you then cure, let's say a broken taillight, or you forgot your insurance card, it's at home. Bring the insurance card or the receipt for the repair of the broken taillight, show it to the judge. Marianne Jones. Your Honor, I'm Marianne Jones. I see you've been charged with driving without a, an insurance card and with a broken taillight. Your Honor, I have my insurance card and the receipt for my taillight repair here with me. I'm hoping to get my ticket dismissed because I'm now in compliance with the law. Now your driving records show that these are your first violations in five years and that you promptly took care of both of them. That's something I will certainly take into consideration in making my judgment. This video is sponsored by the Chicago Bar Association and by the Illinois Judges Association to help you be better in court. Remember, be prepared. Be educated, make a good impression, tell the truth, and be on time. No telephone, no drinking court, that's for later. The judge will appreciate it, and you'll benefit. Have hope in court. H is for honesty, O is for organization, P 
P is for preparedness, and E is for education. Good luck.